Hey, in this video, I am going to show you what to do about uh, replacing Microsoft Security Essentials on Windows XP. Because, of course, after April 8th, 2014, or thereabouts, um, there's no more support. As we can see here, it says support for this operating system has ended and Microsoft Security Essentials will no longer be supported, blah, 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 blah. Right? So we want a new free antivirus that will help protect your Windows XP installation from this point forward. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your control panel and click on add or remove programs. And that will bring up this window here. And the list here may take some time to show. Okay, so uh, you might have to wait five or 10 minutes. Sometimes it'll come up pretty immediately, but depending on your system and the speed and what's in there, uh, don't panic if it says it's building the list for quite a while. All right, and then we want to go down to, um, where is it hiding here? Microsoft Security Essentials, and we want to click on Remove. Okay, and then we get our uninstall prompt here. We go ahead and click the uninstall button, and it will uh, go ahead and start removing uh, Security Essentials. Now I'm going to pause recording here for a moment uh, just to let this run without uh, bothering you with the boring details of watching this little green line spin. Okay, and when it's done, it uh, gives you the message. The wizard has finished removing security essentials from your computer and you can go ahead and click on finish. Now uh, you can also close your add remove and your control panel bits here. Um, and what we want to do is jump into uh, a browser, right? And we're going to go to, which is Google Avira here, for example. And what we're looking for is this link here, the uh, www.avira.com slash uh, en for English slash avira dash free dash antivirus. Okay. So that's the link that we want to go to. And that is going to bring us to the following page. Okay, so here we are uh, at that URL, which is up here at the top, but we can go ahead and click on free download. Gives you a little timer. And if you're in Internet Explorer, you got to click at the top bar here and say download file. Okay, and wait for a moment. We should get there's what we're waiting for, uh, the run command. So if you're in Firefox or Google Chrome or something, um, whatever you have to do in that browser, you want the equivalent done, you're going to click on run in Google Chrome. I think it's down in the lower left-hand corner where your files are going to be downloading. And uh, just be particular, of course, in Firefox, I think it's in the upper right. Okay, so we're going to click run anyway here. And that will come in. Now, something to be aware of, we can close this browser now that that's downloading, um, at least with Internet Explorer, you can. One thing to be aware of with these, uh, we're going to click Run again here, uh, with the Avira installation, we're going to hit Accept and Install, is that it does a lot in the background. You don't constantly have this kind of a progress bar going. Uh, this window generally disappears, and it doesn't seem like much is happening at all. Uh, in the background, um, but ultimately down in the lower right hand corner here by your clock, uh, you'll see a little uh, umbrella symbol and that's going to be uh, the Avira. Now I'm going to, um, don't mind all this flashing here, I'm, I'm doing this remotely on a computer so the screen display isn't so great. Um, You'll, you'll see, like right now, there's no indication that the installation is going on. So I'm going to pause the video again. It'll probably be a few minutes before anything visible comes up, but I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Okay, so now, um, after a few minutes wait, we have uh, some progress here that has shown up in the lower right. As I said, here's your little red icon with the umbrella on it. And we can see some uh, progress here for the antivirus installing. Now, you see here it says to install browser safety, follow the instructions in your browser. So this is where Firefox opened. 
okay? And you could, in addition to Avira Antivirus, you could install this browser protection package and just go ahead and click on Agree and Install and follow through with that. I myself don't tend to do that. Um, you know, the browser helpers, in, in my experience, uh, tend to interfere with normal browser functioning too much. But if you're uh, doing a lot of online banking or whatever and you want to be super paranoid and put that in, go ahead. And you can do that actually at any time um, by clicking on the icon here and they give you the option to do the browser safety bit. So here we have it still installing. Takes a few minutes, so please be patient. Okay, and at the end of the installation, you should see this uh, little, you know, protected notice. Your antivirus, it's in place, right? Um, if you haven't installed this, it of course will, sh will show not installed. But like I said, you have the option to click on install and install that. And uh, otherwise, you can go ahead and close that off and know that you're protected with a new antivirus. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe if you did. Thanks for watching.